Hi everyone and welcome back. There is a big difference between being alone and feeling that sense of loneliness. There are times where I can be alone, I can go fishing or go for a long walk, but I don't feel lonely. And yet sometimes, you and I, I'm sure we've experienced, you can be in the middle of a crowd, in the middle of the church, in the middle of all the activity, and feel lonely in our hearts, that sense of loneliness. And you know, many people who suffer in depression, discouragement, they have this sense of loneliness. So when I look in the scriptures, I see that even a man like Job, this righteous man before God, he said, you know, I come to a place where I despise my life. I would not live forever. He says, leave me alone. My days have no meaning. And that sums it up, what we can experience and what we sometimes feel. But you know, we need to know that God always has a plan for us. And it's the enemy who would like to separate us from God's plan, separate us from fellowship with people who understand the plan of God. And that's where the loneliness comes in. We need to be careful that we don't allow this separation to take root in our hearts. You know, Elijah went off into the desert. He had had this amazing experience on Mount Carmel. And now he finds himself in the desert and he is alone. And he says to God, I am the only one left. <laughs> it was such a sad story. I am the only one left. But in fact, he was there because he had run away, not just from the king, not just from the king's wife, Jezebel, but he had run away from God's plan. See, Psalm 68 verse 6 says, God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. So I want to suggest to you that when you have the sense of loneliness and separation, look for the rebellion in your heart. Somewhere, somehow, you are resisting what God wants to accomplish in you. And normally, it's in relationship with other people. It's the separation that the enemy brings into our hearts. It starts maybe with a bit of bitterness, unforgiveness, or a bit of hurt. And now we allow this thing to draw us aside, to separate us. And we need to recognize that as children of God, we are created for relationship. So that's the plan of God. I encourage you, stay linked, stay close so that you can walk in freedom and always enjoy the presence of God and always enjoy the presence of other people. May the Lord bless you.